calling out and waiting for a response, but nothing. Springtime usually brings the familiar sound of the cuckoo ringing out across the fringes of British woodland, but now you'll be lucky to hear one. This is a very traditional British bird, visits us for the summer, and yet we've seen an absolutely staggering decline of these birds that, for many people, are the backdrop to an English summer. We really have to begin to understand what's happening with our cuckoos here in the UK if we are to save them. The cuckoo flies in from sub-Saharan Africa in April and stays a few months, long enough to lay its eggs in other birds' nests. But part of the problem could be that many of those birds are also in decline, as are the hairy caterpillars cuckoos like to eat. The echoing call of the cuckoo carries hundreds of metres, and this nature reserve should be the perfect place to hear it. But over a 13-year period, the cuckoo population has declined by more than a third, and as a result, their unique bird song is becoming increasingly rare. The cuckoo has now been placed on the red list of the UK's most threatened birds, in 1970, there were nearly 38,000 pairs in Britain. That number decreased to 31,750 by the mid-90s. And now there are only around 20,000 pairs in the UK. I'd hope for my children to grow up not knowing what a, a real cuckoo sounded like. It's one of the reasons we like coming here. We bring the children to places like this so they can uh, you know, find out about all these birds. And uh, it would be a shame if, if there were no more cuckoos when they're grown-ups. The rate of decline is increasing, and researchers will also look at the birds' migration patterns to try to find some answers. But the best chance children visiting this RSPB nature reserve may have of hearing the distinctive call could be from a cuddly toy sold in a gift shop, or failing that, from a cuckoo popping out of a clock. Emma Birchley, Sky News, Sandy in Bedfordshire.